Hey guys, it's Phase One once again with another video. Today I kind of want to go through some of the 318 features that I find really exciting and uh, hopefully you find them exciting as well. All right, so we're going to go through five features that I think is, is really going to be a game changer with Star Citizen Alpha 3.18 just around the corner. But if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe if you like Star Citizen content. And without any further ado, let's get right into it. So the very first feature I kind of want to talk about is the day mar crash site all right so the what it says is it's a derelict settlement on daymar using parts of a star runner and a 600i as well as some have some habs adapted to the bayou to create a point of interest with some type of activity puzzle traversal hostile ai missions etc as well as rewards for completion so now this is really um interesting because it looks like what what this 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 the idea i get from this is that cig plans on actually introducing uh more handcrafted locations whereby we can actually go and and and, and have new challenges new experiences right and it seems like these locations will be destinations for different types of missions you know so one day you need maybe there to retrieve a box but the next day you may be there to just get some information or the next time you may be there just to eliminate one of the hostile AIs. Okay, so um this is uh that's what this 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 uh this gives me the idea that this is the kind of things we're gonna be expecting moving forward after the initial release of this Daymar crash site. All right. So now the very next one that I'm really excited about is the sand cave archetypes. All right, so it says establishing the new visual language and creation pipelines and quality standard for the new sand cave archetype this uh with this release cave networks using this archetype will be placed throughout the stanton system okay so now this is this is big this is big because um when i get from this right when i look at this image here right um, it kind of gives me the idea that they're looking on, they, they've improved on the, the cave types, the cave archetypes overall, right? So, um, like looking at this image alone, it, it makes me feel like they kind of want to make, they kind of want to connect the cave with the outside world a little bit, right? Um, for example, right now in caves right now that we go into, once we get into the cave, especially the the, the on foot caves once you get in you, you, you're kind of isolated from the outside world right so um it would be awesome to, to go into a cave and you can see little cracks and you can see some sunlight coming in and, and those kind of things and that's what i kind of get from this um this image that they gave so hopefully that's the kind of stuff we'll be seeing uh with the new sand cave archetypes and the the, the ones that they're going to be adding after this one. okay um yeah so the next the very next one this is a big one this is a big one the cargo re the cargo system refactor okay so this one says this uh refactor of ship cargo system will allow both found and purchased cargo to be picked up moved around and placed into cargo grids of ships right so now this benefits two sides right there's really two sides in star citizen pirates and lawful players all right so pirates now are more encouraged to not just destroy your ship but maybe just disable it so they can retrieve the content in your cargo hold you know so um they're encouraged to actually make sure that they don't only just destroy you you know so they're going to be more they're going to be looking into different um weaponry uh, and and different tactics on how to disable ships and various sizes of ships how to breach how to actually you know take full control over a ship and retrieve the content of the cargo in order for them to take it and make some profit with it right and also it also benefits the lawful players on, on as well so let's say you are you know you run into a derelict crash ship there may be some cargo um containers that that are still left at that site so you can retrieve those and put that on your ship and sell um that as well as well as when you let's say you're a bounty hunter you kill a pirate you know they may have some 
cargo, you know, after you've destroyed or disabled their ship. And you can also take that and put that on your ship to sell. So this benefits both sides. And I think this is a huge step forward. Cargo refactor is big, is big for 318. I'm really excited about it. All right. So the very next thing that I'm really excited about, where is it here? Now the security post Korea reactivation, you know, so, um, security post Korea will be taken in more central role of Stanton security. You say the security have moved in, uh, a full-time staff and have begun, st uh, storing confiscated contrabands aboard. The station will be off limits, uh, to all civilians, unless given prior authorization. All right. So. You know this 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 gives me the idea that um i think last year they mentioned some some details about the upcoming bounty hunting mechanic and and the with bounty hunting you'll actually need authorization to tap into the data networks to retrieve you know information uh, in regards to your bounty let's say if their whereabouts you know details about you know where they usually hang out at the last known location, you know, who they, who their associates are at. So you need authorization to get access to, uh, that network, right? So, um, them locking down, uh, SPK, you know, that's it. I think it makes sense. They want to make it difficult for you to actually access that data network. And you need to actually work up your affinity with the security forces in that sector in order to move forward with your bounty so that's really exciting for me uh, can't wait to get my hands on uh b18 for this specific reason okay so um the very next thing that i'm really excited about right very next thing right and that's called that's the salvage all strip right so uh, the first implementation of salvage into the persistent universe which includes both all stripping as well as repair this will include both performing hull stripping and repairs by hand as well as hull stripping using the systems aboard the brig vulture and the hs reclaimer so now this is very 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 big right so you know um hull stripping is you know salvaging is going to be huge because they're going to be adding more importance on your ship right you're gonna you're gonna want to keep your ship alive as long as you can right i feel like insurance claims are going to be a lot more expensive moving forward you know i feel like you know it, and 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 for those reasons you're going to want to keep the health especially with 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 environment uh resource management coming in along with that it's it's going to be very important to make sure your ship stays alive as long as you can so you don't want it you, you don't want your ship to get disabled or you know to even to have to make sure that you have you know the right resources within your ship to actually maintain your components you know you don't want your power plant to blow a fuse or anything like that and you're stuck out there you know what i mean man with limited oxygen with limited resources it becomes very dire right so um yeah salvage is, is going to it's going to be a very impactful feature coming in it's not only great for the fact that it's going to be a new career for for those that are interested but it's going to be a game changer for star citizen alpha 3.8 all right once again i'm phase one if you like content like this make sure to subscribe and leave a like i will see you on the next one